Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's, today was a rough day. It's pretty windy. It's sunny, um, but there's a lot of wind ripping around. So what we're doing is we're stopping at one of the sites here. We're going to go over some fire, uh, how to how to protect yourself, how to start a fire, bring a lighter, and uh, let's get into it. Sounds good. So one of the most important things about starting a fire is really asking yourself Why do I need to build a fire? Well, there's a couple of reasons you want to cook a weenie uh, You're cold and need some heat um, Or you're bored and you need something to do to pass the time now. That is a good start To asking yourselves. How do I build a fire? What kind of fire you want to build is gonna really matter on what you need it for if you need it for heat You're gonna to want to go for some more enclosure we're talking coals, we're talking long burners for wood. If you're wanting to roast a weenie, you're just gonna go for something short, simple, hot, get the meat on, get the meat off and eat it. Uh, the third option is if you're looking to just do something, the world's your imagination, okay? The oysters, the clams, it's all yours. Uh, build a teepee, build a log house. I'll get into those later. Who cares, just start building. Now, if this is one of the fires you're building because you need to, so it's based on survival, living or deathing, whatever it is, first thing you want to do is stop, take a moment, process the last six hours, eight hours, 24 hours. How did you get to this position? Once you're there, reflect, mull it over. What can you do differently to not be in that scenario? I think that goes a long ways. Knowledge before is worth more than knowledge after. And you could put that on a t-shirt. Okay, so you're stuck in a place and you need to make a fire. I'm gonna be using a little hand lighter for cigs um, or starting fires, I don't smoke. Um, and you're gonna be asking us, well, why, why are you using such material? What if I don't have that? What if I have to use the rubbing of the sticks? the crisscrossing of a metal dollarama magnesium strip. I'm gonna ask you something. Why are you outside without fire starter? What, who are you trying to prove? What are you trying to, are you trying to teach the wilderness? Are you trying to show bear, hey, back off. I don't need one of these. I'm not a city boy or lady. So we'll be using this to start our fire. Now, it's important that you use dry wood, I know revolutionary you'd be surprised at how many people in their own pleasure time in their backyards they're lighting these fires they're like why is this so smoky why can't i start a fire look it might be you you might suck at making a fire luckily you're watching this video or your wood is actually super wet and that's no good smoky fires means wet wood you really want to use dry wood smaller wood creates faster hotter fires bigger pieces, then eventually we'll create the bigger fire you're looking for and the long lasting fires. But if you're looking for something quick, go skinny, go small, burn, burn, burn. So what we've got here is a basic fire ring. I've made it really small. This is actually only like the size of my palm for demonstration. Of course, if you guys are building your own fire, you're gonna wanna make it to the size that seems appropriate. Usually bigger is better. But for now, I'm just gonna do a little one uh, we do it with the rock ring, just keeps fire from spreading. I mean, we're on sand, so we're not at risk, but just for you guys' learning. Usually you want the back side of the fire to have a taller wall. What that does is it reflects and rebounds the heat and the fire that you're making. It means it's going to be more warmth for you coming this way, okay? So you kind of want it to have a little bit of a wall back here. Uh, out of rock is good. It absorbs the heat and it shoots it right back at you guys. Now, when you have the, the leisure of time and, you know, creation and creativity, then you guys start talking about TP versus the lean-to versus the log homes. What's the best one? Personally, I like the TP. But in a case like this, you don't really have time or the, you know, just the desire to do that. You guys need to make a fire. So what I do is I just create a little bundle in my fire ring of all the smallest stuff. Now, remember... 
If you have wood like this, super thin, still crunch it up more, okay? The more you crunch it up, the more surface area you get, the faster it burns, the more likely you guys will keep a fire. So make sure you guys are really maximizing every twig you have. Make it nice and small. If you don't have a lot of kindling, um, or I even recommend this right off the bat as well, what you can do is you can take a, a sharp knife and run it along an edge of a piece of wood that you think is dry enough. And that'll create these little flakes. It's called angel's hair. It's kind of the more popular name for it. And what you do is you just keep going until you think you have a good amount. If you don't have an axe or a little hatchet, a fun way or a good way to get smaller pieces, if you just take a normal knife and you just rest it right on top here, kind of in a diamond, and then you take a piece of wood that you think is pretty strong, and what you can do is you can just tap it ever so slightly along the blade, curve the knife into the wood just to make sure it keeps going. If you get stuck, you can just go push it in a bit more, keep tapping. And there you go, a nice little piece without having an axe. Then what we're gonna do is take that bundle we made, remember to crack it up as much as possible. We're gonna get all the loose ends close to each other and that's when we're gonna be lighting on fire. We'll hold it up to get the fire nice and hot. We'll place it down and then we'll do the lean to. So then we'll place a bunch of pieces of wood over top of this leaning against one of the woods, okay? So that way we'll get enough surface area. Make sure you get a lot of air in there. You want a lot of space, so don't just pile the wood on. Make sure you have a lot of space and keep adding these little fibers that you cut up, okay? That's what keeps the fire going pretty long. And then just long enough that these bigger pieces start to catch. And once that happens, then you can keep layering it on and on, see? And there you go. If I had more bigger pieces, I would keep adding it on and of course there would be a full circle of rocks here. I didn't have it because we just changed sites. So then I'd keep laying them on top and then I would go to the log cabin form which we'll go into more in just a second. So we'd keep adding more wood if we wanted. Again I have these bigger pieces but I'm not going to make this fire any bigger than it needs to be. So going into the types of fires, uh, this would be a good, good example of the lean-to. So what we did was we had a big rock, um, or you can use a big log even, and then you want to put your kindling right beside it and just lean all of your smaller and then bigger pieces onto it. Uh, lean-to, I think, is probably my favorite starting um, fire. It's just easy, it's quick, you keep really hard to mess up. As you can see, it's been about, I don't know, maybe 50 seconds to a minute and this fire is already almost dead with the wood that it's burned, right? If we keep adding wood, of course those uh, coals will relight the flame and then we'll be good to go. But the lean-to really just suggests it as a starting fire. The next one we have would be the log house fire. So that one, what you do is you stack wood alternating. So two with the fire in the middle, two on top of that, two on top of that. And you can keep going as high as you deem safe. Uh, this fire is a slow burn, but produces a lot of uh, warm to hot heat. Um, so what this would be good for is warming a campsite, warming a fire. Um, if you have a lot of big logs, again, it's just that slow, continual warmth. Um, the last one is the teepee. This one's your most typical campfire look. It's a bunch of wood stacked on top of each other in a pyramid formation, kind of, with the fire right in the middle. Uh, the teepee is really good for light. Uh, since it's so, it stacks so high, fire burns up. So you have a lot of flames, a lot of heat. It's bright, it's hot, um, but it uses up a lot of wood quickly. So make sure you have a lot of wood to keep that going. Uh, those are the three main ones. Um, pick what you want for whatever scenario you need. If you're just having fun messing around, make sure you're doing it 
um, safely, but under that, have different styles, whatever. Um, tons of way to make kindling, whether that's you find it on the ground or you're using that knife or a small hatchet even. Um, practice around, make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, making fires easy as long as you know what you're doing. Uh, enjoy the outdoors. Park operator out.